Uh, hi and welcome. I'm about to show you how I get my monomy to work with Ableton using Shuck. What I first need to do is uh, I need to um, I need to start up add a few MIDI ports Pro uh, in, on the program and down to tools. This is Swedish, so you, you'll have to bear with me. There's something called here it's called Jude and MIDI Installer, but it's probably called Sound and MIDI uh, Presets on your. And over here it's something called, uh, it basically is called yeah, I, IAC driver. So what I need to do is add a port and then add two ports. I'll name this one in and I'll name this one out. Like that and then I hit for, which is uh, just pretty much do. Back in Ableton Live, I'll take the preferences, and over here there's a few new. It's internal MIDI in, out, in, out. And what I need to do is I'll have to uh, input. I'll have to set track on and remote on, and on output. You see this, ins and outs, ins and outs. On output, I need to press all these three one track sync remote on, and then I just close that window. Then I go back to the terminal where I got two things running uh, serial IO, uh, so that the monitor talks with my computer, and then I got this one. Here I can write shark. Probe. Wait, one more dash. There you got check probe, and down at the bottom of this, I have the MIDI inputs and MIDI outputs. So I have, to, so I have a corresponding the number to the name of the input and the output. So I'll go over to my. Wait, I need to go to my check. And here we got Mono Able Me. And in this code, uh, which is over here, I get two ports specified. Say one and zero, which in this case means like this, like this. We just see here. On MIDI out, I've got one. Uh, no, <laughs> zero, I got on MIDI out, which over here means uh, MIDI in. And over here I got MIDI in, which means MIDI out. It gets a little bit confusing because I got outs and ins everywhere. But what I what I basically do is out on live means in on the in the shock. And in on live means out on shock. So I've got two the two numbers, corresponding numbers, right here. And I run this program over here and I need to move to uh, this place Wait. it gets a bit confusing doesn't it like that and I run the application check and mono no big M mono like that and it's all set and that one turned all black so now I just can add to Ableton, I just uh, let's let's do it. Baseline, I do the MIDI, press this, and press one thing over there, and you get that one over there. So now you're set. I press that. I press it here. It goes on over there, and I deselect this one, and this one goes back. So. I probably should repeat this once again. What you do is you in Chuck, you probe it and find out which inputs and outputs you got. And remember, you have to have one input and one output on two channels. That is, 
two different ports of MIDI. You can you can't have the same ports within ins and outs because although maybe you can on the uh, uh, Windows XP, but on my o OS X, uh, the live got some uh, odd feedback loop uh, which just repeats itself forever and ever and yeah chuck crashes in, in the end so you find out the ports uh, you modify the script so this so that these two lines corresponding to these two lines and then you run the script and then in here in Ableton you set the ins on and on and out on 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 and there you have it and the flicker <laughs>